Hey everybody, surprise, it's Tuesday, October 11th, 2011. We have a great show coming up for you today on Fiona Forbes. I know, it looks like a pump, it feels like a sneaker. Oh, the, the Tuesday after a long I've weekend. Still, I've got the tryptophan hangover still, the little bit of turkey hangover. My, my family does it on Sunday, so we usually have that recovery day in there. But recovery day? The recovery day, didn't. it didn't take, it didn't See, work. See, my family does everything sideways, and we, did, uh, we had spaghetti and meatballs. Why not? Why, Why not? not? Because you're my Irish. Sister tried, Why not? No, my sister. I know that's what I said to my friend. I'm like, and we're not Italian, so it's like my sister's like, okay, we're gonna do it Medi Mediterranean style. I'm like, you don't feel like making a turkey, and yeah. you are making spaghetti and meatballs. Exactly. Admit it's the it. cop out. Yeah, uh, like anyway, it. it's a little rainy, a little gray outside today, so it's all right. It's all right. Little blue sky out there. I like it. Eh, it's the time of year, right? We're so in transition. So Thanksgiving Fiona. is over, and usually the next holiday we concern ourselves with is. Uh, Halloween, but Michael, I have a surprise for you. Delivery today, the envelope, please. Can you imagine if it were a pink slip and this is how we found oh, out? Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I know what this is because I looked at the address on it. Okay. And it's from our regional manager. So this must be on October <laughs> the 11th, our Christmas party Not invitation. even a save the date, <laughs> the actual invite, which is wow. awesome because you know what? We have the best Christmas parties and we don't want to miss them. Yeah, we do. I, matter of fact, we might be one of the only companies that still has Christmas <laughs> parties, but they are just, wow, that's crazy. December the 10th, okay, and we got it today. Okay, mark your calendars, people. Uh, I got to do something very exciting last night. Uh, the Canucks, of course, won. This is their uh, four-game, six-day road trip. Last night, they were in Columbus against the Blue Jackets. Their first victory of the season. Oh, it was so awesome. And you know what was even better, Michael? What? I got to watch the hockey game with my mom, also known oh, she's as the legend. Max. Yeah. The legend. The icon. The who, best play-by-play -play commentator in hockey history, I think. I think my up. mom should replace Don Cherry, CBC, if you're listening. Because the kind of stuff that my mom says, and mom, don't kill me. You are amazing and incredible. Incredible. I can't Did even, we mention legend already? I you think can't even think this stuff up. She's, she, looks at, she looks at me and my sister very puzzled and she goes, I can't tell who's who on these teams because they all wear the same jerseys. <laughs> Did she they mean all between look the same. No, she Columbus the and Canucks. Vancouver or the Canucks? Oh, no, okay. she met the Canucks. She can't tell they... them apart. Because I said, I was saying, because my niece and nephew got to meet uh, Schneider and LaPierre and Mason yep. Raymond and uh, Alex Burroughs last week. So I was pointing them out to my niece and nephew. And my mom's like, I can't tell them apart. They all look the same with their jerseys. They should put like numbers or something on the back <laughs> of them. That's so you exactly know what my sister said. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Everybody, your poor mom. Oh, not She's poor got mom. A valid and point. then there was a little bit of a brawl in front of the net, and my mom just, you know, it's some some ladies, because my mom is very much a lady, would be offended by hockey violence. She goes, "Oh, look, they're having a wee argument." Then. Oh, just a wee tussle. Oh, I know. I want to watch a game with your mom. I, I think you should think actually. It should actually be its own television show. What I would like you to do is simulcast your mom's commentary during a Canucks game, so that everyone can actually experience. Oh, this and then last week when it's beautiful. <laughs> she just she's a stream of consciousness, and she's brilliant. That when the season was starting, my mom goes, "Oh God, not again." <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Love that. She okay. is awesome. Uh, Thanksgiving, of course, was this weekend, and uh, my kids are a little bit younger, and I'm sure a lot of people are in the same situation. Uh, you don't really have the kids at the main Thanksgiving table until they're a certain age. Because, I'm still at the kids' table. Well, first of all, my kids need to eat a little earlier, and then they go to bed right around when we would normally be eating, all that stuff. So this year was their first year at the big table with all the How adults. Old are they? Everything else. Uh, four and two. Uh, so they both saddled up to the table, and away they went this year. My son decided he wanted the drumstick. There were 12 people at our Thanksgiving dinner, so the drumstick was the same size as my son. Here's a little picture. Here's the proof. Oh, my God. You can tell how much he's eaten already because he looks like he's just about to fall into like a coma. He looks like he's going to pass out. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Did he finish? Uh, he got very close to finishing. He's doing what he calls savoring, so he puts all the food in his mouth, and then he sits there for a minute no, or so. just like his dad. <laughs> I call that your, your, your squirreling. Yeah, yeah chipmunk chip cheek. Anyway, lots of fun with the family, lots of everything else. And first dinner, it's a big thing. It's a big deal. Uh, and, you know, Halloween is just around the corner. And, Mike, what is your most hated thing? Uh, when people dress up the oh, pets. people dress up pets. Look at he gets angry. Not much makes you mad. <laughs> Look at him, just stop. I, I just want to explain it. Dogs, fine. They're passive. They're kind of stupid. Cats. It's when people dress up intelligent, sentient beings. That really, would you dress a dolphin? No. 
Dressing a dog, I fine. I how angry you get, though. No, I just, Like, there's, there's serious things. logic. Okay, and if you're going to dress your dog up, don't make it all cutesy. Make it funny and ironic. I Look at anger. Anger. I just, there, there are rules that people need to follow when it comes to dressing up their Can pets. Can I change your mind? Or I will yell at you. Yes. I'll change your mind, because this is quite possibly the best animal costume I have <gasps> ever seen. Oh. Oh, look, he loves it. It's the walker. <laughs> it's the at-at walker. It's the funny, I couldn't walker. remember what it was called, and I asked our control room, like, every single guy in the room at at walker like i was the stupidest person on see, the planet and then what you do is you you give the cat a ball of yarn and he twines it around the dog's legs to trip him and then he slays you can him play on the Star floor Wars. yeah because cats will figure that can out can you it's be pretty... that animal that i can slit your belly and then crawl into and have a nap what is that called this is not fantasy time fiona uh -huh. this is this is show time right now darn <laughs> hmm maybe you don't have to split my belly Here's a little video of our relationship, not so much our relationship as uh, just our workplace and how Fiona and I work every day uh, because our job is predominantly fun. So I just saw this video and I thought, that reminds me of work. <laughs> right after you tell me to crawl inside you. <laughs> what? The, um, art of getting on that no. hammock, master. Here, look at them play. Don't, don't try and be all cute now. <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go. And just after that, one slit the other's belly and, and climbed crawled inside. Because it, so. it was warm. Because it was warm. He and winter was coming. Winter uh, is it coming. It is time for us to check in with Elise at Rock 101. Here she is. Hey guys, Guy Garage Madness is continuing through the week. It's the same old. We got two on the bro show, one chance on Robin LaRose's show, as well as two more chances with Dean Hill in the afternoon. And then we'll have a third chance Friday morning on the bro show because I'm gonna be somewhere with the Dodge Challenger and you're gonna have to find me. The one hint I'll give you ahead of time is I will be somewhere in Burnaby. If you're a Facebook uh, member, Classic Rock 101 Facebook page, we'll give out my exact location two minutes before it goes to air so you can get a little jump. Otherwise, listen to it live on The Bro Jake Show. Thank you, Elise. And it's becoming like a game of spot the feather with Elise because she's always got feathers involved in her outfit, either her earrings or today on, Adorbs. on, on her and top. Can That's I correct myself? Sure. Because an at-at walker, all-terrain what? All-terrain what? Armor, trans Armor transport. <laughs> Apparently, I'm dumb for not knowing that. <laughs> You're not dumb, just ignorant. <laughs> okay, we have a great show.